SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I want to share some speed testing and network testing that I did over at the local mall. And the reason I want to share it with you is because we got different types of solutions by different companies in order to provide adequate service for their customers. All these images posted to my X account. If you guys want to follow me there, the link for my X account will be in the description under the Twitter link. The artist formerly known as Twitter. Anyways, let's get to the descriptions on what we did with our testing. Uh, so um, before we get started with today's content, please do like and share and subscribe for more if you are new here to the channel. Ways to support us, ways to do that can be found in the description as well. All right, folks, the first test is taken from a um, from the Verizon network, actually, iPhone 14 Pro Max. You're probably wondering, why the hell is it on LTE? And that's because it defaulted to LTE. This is with the 5G on setting. And the reason why it's showing LTE is because Verizon has an indoor dash, an, an, an iDAS. And with the iDAS, it looks to be LTE only. I don't think they've ever upgraded it for 5G. So it defaulted immediately to LTE and, you know, get you all your access points, you know, at the food court, outside of stores and stuff like that. And uh, so it defaulted to LTE, but it performed well. All right, 97 megs down, 36 up. See, the ping times are pretty low, right? Uh, low jitter. It was a nice stable connection. Uh, I had to do a video call. Well, it could have been a phone call, but I decided to video call uh, and do a couple of... Uh, of uh, things like running an app and, and it was working flawlessly uh, so it was holding up it was great and uh, no complaints there from Verizon uh, here is just outside the food court there's um, like a skylight all this glass and because of that we we're actually able to pull some signals from the local macro cells that are on rooftops now the reason this is important is because here is a speed test for AT&T and this particular speed test from AT&T is coming from the serving macro. All right, so 83 ping, 49 jitter, those kind of kind of high, but the loaded pings were low. Uh, 293 down and 23 up. That's pretty good performance, and that's coming from the macro. I don't think AT&T has a DAS here, All right? So different ways of networking based on the available tools that you have in the planning. Uh, AT&T holding up just, just perfectly fine, All right? And then here is the T-Mobile performance, and this is coming from that same rooftop site outdoors food court you got the glass so you can pull the signal in by the way verizon the 5g ultra wideband from the food court also worked again coming from the rooftop macro so it just depends where you are within the building for verizon and the other carriers so uh, near the skylight you get this great throughput 580 588 down and uh, 15 on the uplink for t-mobile 21 ping for jitter those metrics are really good right now what happens to T-Mobile as you move into the mall? Same thing with AT&T. The service gets a little spotty. You get moved over to the low band, right? You kind of dip down under 50 megabits down, 10 megabits up. And in some stores, I mean, it's really, really slow, right? So it just depends where you are. I'm not sure even if they have DAS solutions or if only certain parts of the building does. I don't know if I really care to test all that much. Like, I guess I could go into like Macy's, the department store or something. Uh, but where I was, everything was working great. Again, different ways to service different parts of large buildings and venues like this one. All right, what do you guys think about my testing? What do you think about the different ways each of the carriers are supporting the customers on their network? And all the carriers have high usage here, right? And it's good to see that things are kind of holding up. Thoughts and opinions, welcome down below and then share with me how things go for your local mall and you know these types of scenarios. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.